Hi, this is Theo from PuckerBlocks.com. Today I'm going to review the Rotring Isograph Technical Pens. These are actually some of the more durable technical pens out there in the market today. Let's take a closer look. These are the two Rotring Isograph that I have. One is a 0.5, the other is a 0.7. They are actually available in line widths of 0.1 all the way up to 1.0. Now the body is quite lightweight it's made of plastic mostly except for the metal clip here and the tip that is inside this cap is the twist type cap and if you want to you can post it at the back Rotring also makes another pen that is called the Rapidograph and it's quite similar to the Isograph with some uh, minor differences both are actually refillable so let's take a look at the difference both feature twist type cap and both have metal tips the main difference come from the ink cartridge so this is the ink cartridge and this is the rapidograph so the capacity of the rapidograph seems to be slightly larger now let's take this out here you can see the main difference in terms of the design So I can dismantle the Rapidograph into something like this. And for the Isograph, instead of twisting the cartridge, I can pull it out like this. And this part can pull out as well, this front part. And here we have the metal tip that is inside. There's actually a needle that's inside. The ink actually goes into this opening here and goes inside through this uh, section here and then comes out from the tip here. So to remove this part, I just have to twist it. And there is actually that needle inside. So this is the needle and I'm not sure if you can see but there is an opening inside as well so when this needle is inside it will block that opening to prevent ink from flowing and when you are drawing you are actually pushing the needle back so that the opening will open up so that the ink can flow up and if I if I actually push the needle now can you see that the back is moving so it's something like that it works something like that the Rapidograph also has a needle inside but it's not easy to take it out because I have to pull this part here and the way it's designed makes it difficult to pull this part out so today I am not going to dismantle this fully so let me just put this back in and put this back so both pens are rather easy to dismantle and put back but the isograph is uh, easier with all the parts dismantled like this it makes it really easy to clean the pen and give it regular maintenance for me i would run running water through here and clean the inside here and that's enough for me to clean the pen thoroughly so now i'm going to put back everything For pens that are that use the 0.1 tip, those are a bit more difficult to maintain because the tips are very fragile. So be careful. Before I put the ink cartridge back, I want to refill the cartridge. This is the Rotring ink bottle with 23 millimeter of ink. The nice thing about this ink bottle is it comes with a tapered end so I can use that very easily to refill this cartridge and since this cartridge is translucent I can see how much ink I can fill up to I'm not going to fill up completely because remember this part here actually goes into the cartridge so it takes up some space and after that I can just push it in like this this is not a twist type so I think um, that's good enough 
at least the ink doesn't come out so make sure that you push this tightly and after that I can put back the body now the ink will start to flow a bit so I to help it I would usually shake it slightly let's take a look at the lines I can get Ink flow is good enough but for quick uh, lines like quick doodling sometimes I feel that the lines can skip a bit so be careful these are uniform width lines so you're not going to get any sort of variation in terms of the thickness of the lines for some reason it doesn't work that well for cross hatching I have to go much slower to get those get the lines so if I draw very fast you can see the lines they break up like this that was 0 0.7 let me switch over to 0 0.5 so for 0 0.5 the line is slightly thinner the pen tip is quite smooth on the paper but definitely not as smooth compared to ballpoint pens if you are using rough paper be careful not to scratch the paper with the metal tip let's try cross etching with this pen I think this actually works slightly better compared to the 0 0.7 for some reason so I can uh, draw very quickly but here you see the lines they are starting to break up again so for cross hatching I need to go much slower the paper you use also matters this is rotring ink let's see if this ink will feather on this cartridge paper I'm just going to put down a dot like this and see if the ink will feather it doesn't let me try 0 0.7 so it doesn't feather. Let me try a notepad. So this is my notepad. And here you see the ink starting to feather on this paper. So paper quality matters. If you create illustrations where you want the lines to be uniform, predictable, you don't want surprises or varying line weights, then this is the type of pen to get. Sometimes I use this for drawing but ever since I switched over to fountain pens I seldom use my technical pens anymore and the reason for that is because I actually prefer lines uh, pens that can give me varying line weights so if I want to change the line weight for this pen I would have to switch to a different pen like now I'm using 0 0.7 if I want a thin line I would have to switch to a 0 0.5 or 0 0.3 and when I'm drawing it can be a bit inconvenient at times especially if I'm drawing outdoors if I'm keep if I keep switching pens it's a bit inconvenient so that's why I prefer using fountain pens nowadays that are capable I mean those fountain pens that are capable of giving me different line weights so now I'm going to switch over to the 0 0.5 now these pens they are very good for detail work if you want a line that is 0 0.1 I think these are probably the only type of pens that you can get to give you those line width there are several advantages to using a refillable technical pen like this versus disposable pens this by the way is the rotring tiki which is also a technical pen the first advantage is since you can use your own ink 
this is going to be more economical in the long run you can save money you can buy your own ink you can refill it compared to disposable pens where you have to throw it away whenever the ink runs out or when the tip gets worn out so um, long run this is cheaper but the upfront cost of the rotring isograph is quite high it costs several times more than the disposable the other advantage is since you can use your own ink you can use other colored inks as well if you want blue color if you want red ink you can use that in the cartridge another advantage of the isograph is the metal tip is very durable this is going to last a very long time now with felt tip pens on technical pens like this when I use them on rough paper they wear out really fast so I find that sometimes even before I finish using the ink I would have to replace the pen so that is the downside of felt tip pens versus this metal tip this is a Copic multi-liner which is also a refillable technical pen however this uses felt tip as well so again this can wear out so when I compare different brands I always come back to Rotring because this is really very durable and it's made to last with refillable technical pens like this you do need regular maintenance to prevent the ink from clogging but this is not too different from using fountain pens with fountain pens you need to maintain them as well but it's easier here because you can dismantle all the parts very easily if you do happen to have a very serious ink clog you can get the rotring cleaning fluid this will help dissolve the ink pigment the particles to make it easier for you to clean the ink and this is quite powerful I use this to clean my fountain pens actually if you like technical pens or you like drawing with them I recommend you get refillable versions and the rotring isograph these are very good products because the metal tip it can last for a very long time so in the long run it's going to help you save money the downside really is the upfront cost because each pen is quite expensive and if you were to buy a few pens it's going to take a big hit on your wallet but overall if you use them frequently it's a worthwhile investment that's all for my review today. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section right below. Thanks for watching. I hope this review has been helpful to you. Bye.